Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Polly's Crochet Creations. So, what are we doing today? Well, today I am going to show you how to make this flying disc. Now, I made this this morning. It only took maybe an hour to make, and I'm going to go through with you step by step. This is the inside of the flying disc. This is the outside of the flying disc. And... I think it's an awesome toy, kid's toy, and it's a really simple pattern to make. Um, I have been, um, I designed the pattern uh, quite some time ago. It's my hat pattern that I use. So, um, yeah, I just got a knot. Yay, I just got a knot. So we're going to get started here in a second here. I'm going to let you tell, know what you're going to need. I'm just using scrap yarn for this. Um, you will need a crochet hook. Right now I'm going to be using a 6 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need um, scissors to cut your end. You're going to need a um, darning needle to weave in your ends. Uh, I don't have one right now. Um, and you're going to need yarn. And this, like I said, this is just scrap yarn. I believe this ball here is the, um, can't remember the name of it. I got the ball right, or the ball band right here. Let's see. Oh, this is the Barnett. Barnett Pop. Barnett Pop. This is the exact same color. It's actually this color right here. Um, I know about this a while ago. I deconstructed it because I was doing another project. So, um, yeah, we're going to use scrap yarn today for this. It is very, very simple. So we're going to start off with uh, either a chain four or a magic circle. I like the magic circle. Um, I've always been used to the magic circle. So <clears throat> the magic circle, you just turn around and you put it around your hand like this, pull it up, kind of cross it at the top, and then put your crochet hook in. Take your working yarn and chain. Okay, and that's what you do. Now we're going to do 12 double crochets in the center of this um, circle. Okay, so we're going to start off with yarning over, going in, drawing up a loop. You have three loops on your hooks, on your hook. Then you yarn over and you go through two, and you yarn over and you go through two. Okay, that's one. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, and then yarn over, go through two. That's two. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. That's three. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. So that's twelve double crochets. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're gonna pull that string and close up the circle. All right. 
And then you're going to slip stitch in your first double crochet. Sometimes it might take a little bit. So slip stitch into the first double crochet. All right. And there you got your circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in here. Okay. So we're going to chain one and it doesn't count as a stitch. And you're going to yarn over and you're going to go right into that slip st stitch circle and you're going to do a double crochet. Now this here post or this stitch here, you're going to do a front post. So that's yarn over, go underneath, yarn over, go through two and yarn over, go through two. And then in between, you see this hole right here? Right there. So that's where you're going to put your double crochet. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now the next stitch here, you're going to do a front post. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in underneath like so, and you're going to yarn over go through two and go through two. There's your front post. So, so far we've done one double crochet, one front post, one double crochet, one front post. Then double crochet in there. And then a front post double crochet. Okay. And then a double crochet. And then the next stitch is a front post double crochet. So all the way around, you're going to repeat that. Sorry, my nail's getting caught. Um, so all the way around, you're going to repeat that. And <clears throat> so you're putting a double crochet in between the stitch, and then you're going to put a double, a front post double crochet, double crochet in between the stitch, front post double crochet. And I will meet you up at the end once you're done that. So now that we're at the end, you've gone all the way around with a double crochet, front post, double crochet, double crochet, front post. You will end with a front post, double crochet, and then you join with a slip stitch to the very first double crochet. Like so. And make sure it's taut. All right. Be right back. Okay, so now this is what you've got. Okay, we're going to start the next round. So we're going to chain one. And then we're going to uh, double crochet in this stitch and double crochet in this stitch. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, go through two, and go through two. That's the first double crochet. Yarn in, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, go through two, and go through two. That's the second double crochet. Now, around the front post, we're going to do two front posts, double crochets, on that post. So you yarn over, you go in the front post, you draw up a loop, you go through two, you go through two, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two. Okay, so you've got two double crochets and then two front post double crochets. Now, in this stitch, in this stitch, we're going to do two double crochets again. So you're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, go through two, and go through two. Now, on the front post, what are we going to do? We're going to do two front posts. So you yarn over. Go underneath the front post or underneath the post and that'll bring it to the front pull up a loop you go through two you go through two yarn over go underneath pull up a loop go through two and go through two okay so now you have two front or two uh, double crochets two front post double crochets two double crochets and two front posts. So 
we're going to do two double crochets again one two so you're going to yarn over go underneath in the stitch pull up a loop go pull through two and pull through two you're going to go yarn over and go in the stitch pull up a loop go through two and go through two okay that's two double crochets now we're going to do two front posts on that post so yarn over go underneath pull up a loop go through two and go through two yarn over go in pull up a loop go through two and go through two now that is what you will be repeating all the way around so two double crochets two front posts two double crochets two front posts two double crochets two front posts and then you go two double crochets a stitch here and a stitch here and then two front posts two double crochets one here and one here and then a front post you repeat that all the way around and i will meet you up at the end okay so we're down at the end almost to the end i've got one more stitch to do and that is two front posts so you will end with two front posts i'm in my hat pattern this is the way that you do my hat pattern um the beginning of my hat pattern so that is what you're going to look like and you're going to take it and you're going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet all right so what did we do two double crochets two front posts 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 two double crochets and then you ended with two front post double crochets now did i actually put two front posts on there i don't think i did oops i didn't do that okay so there's one double crochet on the front post and then this is the second double crochet on the front post i always have a habit of missing a stitch so that is what it's going to look like now for the next round we are going to do double crochet double crochet a front post one double crochet in between and a front post okay so you're going to yarn over you're going to go or sorry you're going to chain one then you're going to yarn over and you're going to do a double crochet in that same stitch that slip stitch okay that's your one double crochet this is your second double crochet then you're going to do a front post around this post so you yarn over you go underneath the post you just get that one post and then yarn over pull up a loop yarn over go through two and yarn over go through two now we're going to do a double crochet in that stitch right there so yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two then you're going to go a front post double crochet around this post so yarn over go in drop a loop drop a loop there you go now we're going to do double crochet double crochet so one double crochet in this one and then one double crochet in this one and what are we going to do next we're going to do one front post around this post one double crochet and then one front post so you're going to yarn over you're going to go in behind the post and bring it forward that's why they call it a front post you pull up a loop you go through two and you go through two yarn over go in to the center piece drop a loop go through two go through two and this next post you're going to yarn over go in behind it and it brings it forward pull up a loop go through two and go through two you've just done a front post a double crochet and a front post so the next one is double crochet and double crochet 
So I double crochet and a double crochet. Now the next stitch, we're going to do a front post, then a double crochet in between, and then a front post, okay? So again, you yarn over, you're going to go in behind the post and bring it forward. And then you're going to pull up a loop, you're going to go through two, and you're going to go through two. Now we're going to do the stitch in between. So you're going to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two. That's the double crochet in between. And then a front post. So yarn over, go in behind the stitch, pull up a loop, go through two, and go through two. There you go. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. So you're going to start with two double crochets. Then you're going to do one front post double crochet, one double crochet in between the two front posts, and then one front post. Two double crochets, one front post, one double crochet, one front post. Then you're going to do two double crochets. Then you're doing one double crochet, one front post, one front, or yeah, one front post, double crochet, one double crochet, and one front post. And you repeat that round all the way around. So the next two stitches are two double crochets. Then we do a front post, a double crochet in between, a front post. Two double crochets, a front post, a double crochet in between, and a front post. So you do that, repeat that all the way around, and I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, so I've done that all the way around. I have three more stitches to do. Okay, so you should end it with a double crochet, a f um, or f front post double crochet, a double crochet, and a front post. And I know this yarn is probably hard to see the uh, stitches, but you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through the front post like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two. You're going to go in through the uh, center of that in between the stitches and do a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over pull uh put your hook through to pull the um, to pull the stitch forward the double crochet forward to make it a front post and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to go there you go and then you're going to join to this first stitch here with a lovely slip stitch right there. So this is what it's looking like now. And at the end we can pull this a little even tighter. But this is what it's looking like now. So for the next round, you're going to put front posts on your front posts. And you're going to put double crochets in your double crochets. And then in between the two front posts, you're going to do a double crochet in this stitch and a double crochet in this stitch. Okay. So you're going to yarn over or you're going to, yeah, you're going to pull, um, chain one. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through the slip stitch uh, and do your first double crochet. Okay. The next one, double crochet. Now, you're only going to do one front post around this one. And in between this front post and this front post, you can see there's two stitches. One, two. You're going to put a double crochet in each of those stitch. Okay. So you've got two double crochets in between the two stitches. Then you're going to do a front post like so. Then you have two double crochets, one here and one here. And then this front post, you're going to do a front post double crochet like I said, your front posts are your front posts. Then you're going to do double crochet, double crochet. And 
and then you're going to do a front post. I'll do my, one more section with you, okay? So we're going to do a front post, and, or a double crochet and a double crochet in these next two stitches. And then we're going to do a front post around that post. And then we're going to do a double crochet and a double crochet. And then we're going to do one more front post. So this is the round where everything kind of equals out. So you do two, two front posts or two double crochets, one, two, front post two double crochets in between those two front posts so you two double crochets one two front post two double crochets 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 and a front post and you keep doing that round that re repeat that round all the way around so front uh, two two double crochets front post 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 then you're going to do two double crochets and then two uh, a front post two double crochets in these two stitches and then a front post and you do that all the way around i'll meet you up at the end now i did want to make mention Okay, here's the front post, and here's the two double crochets I need to do. This post here, or this hole, is for this front post. Now, I made a mistake, and I accidentally put a double crochet in there, so you have to kind of watch that, because um, we only need a double crochet in this stitch and this stitch. This one here is a front post, so we don't do anything with that stitch, because that stitch is with this front post. I will also make mention that sometimes this stitch will play hide and seek. So if if it goes like this, you can't really see the stitch until you pull it apart. So that's the front post and then you do a double crochet and a double crochet. Okay, we're coming up to the end. Um, I've just finished doing the two front posts, or two double crochets. Now I'm going to be doing a double crochet, and then, uh, or a front post double crochet, and then two double crochets, and a front post in the last four stitches. So, yarn over, go in behind the post, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two, now you yarn over and you go in this hole right here, draw up a loop, go through two and go through two, and then the next hole, you yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, go through two and go through two, and then the last front post, you're going to do your front post, like usual, the front post. So, and then slip stitch into the very first double crochet that you did from the previous round. So it's okay if it curls up like that because what I, what we do next is going to lessen the curl, okay? So we were doing the front po or the double crochets, then the front posts and double crochets. We're gonna change it up a little bit. So we're gonna chain one and the double crochets are now going to become back post double crochets for this round. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go in behind the stitch. You're going to go in behind the stitch and that brings the stitch backwards. Okay. That's why they call it the back post. You're going to yarn over. You're going to draw up a loop. You're going to yarn over, go through two and yarn over and go through two. Yarn over, go into the in behind the post and pull it to the back. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over, go through two. There, you just did two back posts and that's what the two back posts looks like. 
you're going to yarn over and this one's going to be a front post so you're going to go through two uh go in behind or in the post and then you're going to yarn over go through two and yarn over go through two now we're going to do two back posts so you're going to yarn over go in behind pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go in behind pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and then you're going to do a front post on the front post okay so you put your hook through pull the post forward you pull up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two okay yarn over go in behind draw up a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over Go in behind, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, so so this is what we have. We have two back posts that we started off with. Then we do a front post, two back posts, then a front post, two back posts. Now we're going to do a front post. So you're going to yarn over, go in to the post, pull it forward, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two. And now we're going to do two back posts, one here and one here. So yarn over, which I did already, go in behind, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go in behind, pull up a loop, and go through two, yarn over, go through two. Then a front post, Pull, go in behind, pull up the loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So you repeat that all the way around. Two back posts, one front post, two back posts, one front post, two back posts, one front post, two back posts, one, post, one front post. Repeat that all the way around here to the end, and I will meet you up here. Okay, well, so we're coming up on the end um, here soon. Now, if you're not exactly sure, and if you're a beginner, and you're not exactly sure where you've started, when you do your first your first double crochet, just take a um, stitch marker and put it in your first double crochet, because then you will know where you started off. I've been crocheting for quite some time, so I do know that um, I do I do have the basic idea of where I uh, left off or I started. Um, so for beginners, if you want to put a um, stitch marker in there, by all means, it'll help you. It'll it'll help you in the long run. So I'm just going around and doing my two back posts, crochets. Let's try that again. Looks to catch up on itself. So two back posts. Then I've got one front post here. And then I've got two back posts. And then one front post. So now we're at the end. So when you start with the um, back posts, you end with the front post okay so then you're going to take the stitch marker out and you're going to slip stitch into this first chain now this is where it gets interesting because we're going to do with the reverse okay so we're going to do two front posts and one back post okay so you're going to chain one you're going to yarn over go in behind the post and pull the front pull the post forward to the front you're going to yarn over you're going to pull up a loop you're going to go through two and you're going to go through two let's do that again yarn over go in from the front to the back of the loop and pull it forward that is called a front post and then you go through two and then you go through two now the back post you're coming in behind the loop and going around to the back to pull it back and then you're going to go through two pull up a loop go through two and then go through two 
Now we're doing two front po or two uh, yeah front posts. So you're gonna yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go in the front, the back, and back up, and pull up a loop. You go through two, yarn over, go through two. So now you've done two back posts, one front post, two back posts. Now we're going to do a front post or a back post. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to in behind that front post and you're going to pull up a loop. Then you're going to go through two and you're going to go through two. So now you've done a back post. Now you're going to do two front posts. So one and two. So when you pull the foot, when you go in from the front up and then around the edge, you're pulling the stitch forward. That's why they call it the front post. And when you yarn over and you go in behind and you pull the stitch back, that is a back post because you're pulling it to the back. Okay, and then two front posts, and two front posts. So, you repeat this all the way around, and then a back post. And I will meet you up with the end, at the end. So you started off with two front posts, then you went a back post, two front posts, a back post, two front posts, a back post, two front posts, a back post. Now. Because you started off with your front post, this one here is going to be a back post when you finish. Okay, so I'm going to let you keep going and I'll meet you up with the end. Okay, so now I'm to, almost to the end. Hold that thought. Okay, so I'm almost to the end and we've done two front posts. Then we do one back post. Two front post, one back post, and join to that one with a slip stitch. Now, I don't think I have quite enough. Maybe I do. I'm not sure. We're going to give it a try. I want to do some bubbles. Okay. And what we're making is the flying disc. So right now we're going to turn our work so that the wrong side is facing us. Now we're going to chain one. And in that chain one spot there, we're going to single crochet. Now to do a bobble, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in, you're going to draw up a loop, and you're going to go through two. And just leave it. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, and go through two. That's two. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, and go through two. That's three. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, and go through two. That's four. So you have two, four, you have five loops on your hook. Okay. Then you're going to yarn over. You're going to go through all five loops and then you're going to go into this next stitch and you're going to do a single crochet. Now that is your first bobble. Okay. So let's do it again. Your next stitch, you're going to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop and go through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop and go through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop and go through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop and go through two. One, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Pull, taut, single crochet in the next stitch. So you've done a single crochet bobble, single crochet, bobble. Now we're going to do another bobble. And we're going to do repeat this all the way around. So in your next stitch, you're going to go in, pull up a loop, 
go through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go through two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go through two. So you have one more we have to do. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go through two. And you'll see that I have a knot here at the end, right here. And that's because I tied the yarns together. That, that's okay. Two, four, and five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five, and then single crochet. So we're going to repeat that all the way around. And I will meet you up um, back at the end. I will do one more for you. Um, so... Like I said, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in the next stitch, pull up a loop and go through two, yarn over, go in the next stitch, in the same stitch, pull up a loop, go through two. So you got two stitches, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop and go through two. That's three stitches, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go through two. That's four stitches, so you have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through all five loops. Pull it taut, single crochet in the next. So I'm going to let you go on and continue doing that and I will meet you up at the end. Now, if you're not exactly sure where you started at the end here, then you might want to take your stitch marker and pop it right back into that first stitch. Okay, because that's where you're going to um, join with the slip stitch. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to meet you at the end. Okay, I'm on the last few stitches. Um, you will notice that I have changed my yarn because I did run out of the orange. So go in, single crochet, and then you've got two stitches left here and here. So you go into this one and you do your five um, unfinished doubles. So one, two, three. So four unfinished doubles. So you have five, uh, five loops on your hook. Now you can make more if you want. Okay. Um, so you yarn over and you go through all five. And then you slip stitch or single crochet into this and then slip stitch into the first double crochet or the first chain. Okay. So now we're going to flip our yarn work around. So you've done, done the row of bubbles. That's the row of bubbles. Some, sometimes you might have to push them out, but like I said, for the most part, this is the row of bubbles. Now we're going to do a row of double crochets. Uh, so you're going to chain one and don't go in here with a slip stitch um, or the double crochet in the first. Um, or do I? Yeah, maybe I do. So you yarn over, you go in where you slip stitched and you double crochet. And then in the next stitch is right here. And the next stitch is this long stitch right here, right here. That's one stitch. So you'll yarn over and you'll do a double crochet there. Then you go into the next stitch, which is your short stitch. Cause that's where you uh, pulled it taut. And then single crocheted and then in the long stitch and in the short stitch and in the long stitch and short so you're still doing the double crochets whether it's a, the longer stitch or the shorter stitch you're still doing the one double crochet in every stitch all the way around i'll meet you up at the end Okay, I am to my last couple of stitches, so I'm going to double crochet in this one and double crochet in this last one and 
slip stitch to the first double crochet. Now, you can either do one of two things. You can do two rows of single crochet, which I'm probably going to do. Or you can do um, one row of single crochet. Um, a twisted single crochet would be good. So let's do one row of single crochet and then I'll show you how to do the twisted single crochet. So to do the single crochet again, you chain one, does not count as a stitch. You go into that same space and you single crochet. Now for you newbies or new beginners or whatever you want to call you, uh, for you new, new uh, crocheters, we'll just say new crocheters, take a stitch marker and put it in that first stitch because sometimes I always lose myself when I'm doing single crochets. This way I know exactly where where I end. So again put your hook in, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, put your hook in, pull up a loop, go through two. And this is the single crochet. All right, so we're just doing single crochets all the way around in every stitch. So when you get to the other end, I will meet you up there and I will show you how to do a twisted single crochet. Okay, we're coming up to the end here. So you just continue doing your single crochets until you get to your stitch marker. that okay that's not a stitch so this is the last stitch take your stitch marker out and we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to do a twisted single crochet so you're going to chain one and you're going to do a single crochet in there now your next round, and we're going to put the stitch marker right there. We're going to put the stitch marker back in, so you know where to end. Okay. Now you're going to put your your loop here. You're going to you go in, pull up a loop, and you're going to twist your hook like that, and then you're going to finish your single crochet. Okay. Next stitch, which is here, go in, pull up a loop, twist, and finish off your single crochet. Next stitch, go in, pull up a loop, twist, and finish off your single crochet. All right, so you go in. Pull up a loop, twist your hook, and finish off your single crochet. So, next stitch, not this one, but the next one. Go in, twist, and finish off your single crochet. So that is a twisted single crochet. That's what it looks like. And it gives it more of a solid border. I'll do a few more stitches for you. Go in, pull up a loop, twist your, your uh, hook, and then go through your single crochet. Go in, pull up a loop, twist, and single crochet. Go in, pull up a loop, twist, and single crochet. I know I'm going off camera, but that's what it's going to look like, okay? So I'm going to let you... Continue doing the twisted single crochet all the way around, and then I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, we're coming up to the end of the twisted single crochet. And coming up to the end of the tutorial. Sorry the video is so long. Oh, come on, get in there. So... 
but like I said it's a very easy pattern and I think that you'll like making them and they're great for donations for Christmas and winter um, food banks wherever you wanted to donate them even the hospitals it's great for them uh, for the little kids to have something to play with so we're at the end now and then we just single crochet uh, or slip stitch into this one and then I just finish it off like that now you can make this a little bit wider if you want or like I said you can just do cut two rows of single crochet and then um, twisted single crochet see how neat the twist twisted single crochet leaves like a rope border okay it's going to be awesome for some little kid to play with uh, it did look it did turn out a little bit fluffier than i wanted it to um because if you take a look at the one i did this morning because this is the one i did today tonight okay and it's a little bit wide and fluffy it'll still work it'll still work don't get me wrong but if you see the one that I did this morning, it's a little bit smaller. It's a lot smaller. Now, I think it has to do with the the very, the very uh, different yarn. Um, so, because this is like a fluffy, floofy yarn, it turned out a lot bigger. So, that is the flying disc. That is the one we just did the tutorial on. This is the one that I did this morning. And... Uh, the yarn and the hook size do have a difference. The, I did use a size ho uh, 6 hook size in this tutorial, but normally I usually use a size 5, which is a lot smaller, and it would have made the disc a lot smaller. Okay, so normally I use a size 5 because this was made with a size 5, and then this was made with a size 6, and you do see the difference um in in sizes that's the difference in sizes so you got quite a bit more with the six so i hope you like this tutorial um i have been wanting to do this one for quite a while i started making these a while ago uh i will get on working on fiber spiders um, easy to crochet V or not V uh, 3D shawl so I will get working on that soon uh, if you find something on YouTube that you like to do or are interested in doing don't quit keep trying because eventually it'll be like a light bulb goes off in your head and you will be amazed at what you can make you all have a great day evening weekend wherever you may be and you guessed it you know it it's coming keep on hooking Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.